we got zip trays right here and what are they is essentially let me show you right here you got this stage remember that we want to favor equilibrium transport so liquid falls here to this non RFEs and has no dots as you can see liquid will flow and eventually will continue to flow up here and then falls out theoretically the vapor is going to pass through all these orifices if we have enough flow rate so let me show you this diagram it's exactly the same stage liquid flows here as stated before guys then will flow through here there will be plenty of bubble liquid interaction and eventually it will float up and go overboard and continues to the next stage which will be a a sieve tray so this is an example of how do they look you fit it then they start floating the stage vapor goes up and then liquid goes down typically the liquid will get rich in low volatility material and the top vapor will be rich in volatile material another example you got the construction, the orifice plates, or, or all the seep trays, and you will allow all the vapor to go up, all the liquid goes down. Now we are interested in the pressure drop. As stated before, guys, it will be lower than the bubble cap trays, but definitely you're going to have a pressure drop because vapor goes through the liquid which requires force and you know that force in area is pressure so some pressure is going to be lost we also got to con control the fluting uh, if you have excess liquid flow you're going to flood all and you gotta state the tray type size spacing diameter and so on so this is also a very important criteria to consider when designing a sieve tra uh, tray tower 